Hi guys, I'm Shmi. We're in Copenhagen in Denmark for the start of the 2013 Gumball 3000 Supercar Rally. Kicking off from here, it's a 3000 mile adventure around to Monaco for the Formula One Grand Prix. Right now, we're at Raccoon Vehicle Wrapping where things are just about getting underway. The cars are getting wrapped up and prepared. One of the teams to watch for this year's rally, House Car 2. They've got three cars here for the 2013 rally. They've got their Ferrari F12. Secondly, a 458 Spider. And to add a little bit of comfort, they've also got a Rolls-Royce Phantom Series 2 EWB. So there's going to be a lot of coverage from this year. It's a pretty epic route and I can tell you now there are a lot of epic cars taking part. day before the rally starts and the cars are just arriving here on the grid. It's pretty exciting, you can feel the atmosphere growing. Amazing grid this year and everybody is really, really, really getting in the mood for what is probably going to be one of the best rallies there has been. It's the 15th anniversary, so it's some very cool destinations, some very, very cool cars, some great people and hopefully an absolutely awesome rally ahead. So for now, just a few shots of the cars arriving at the grid before we get ready to go tomorrow. everything that's on the grid for now. Tomorrow morning it will all kick off from right here under the start line on the grid in Copenhagen. This is the start grid for the 2013 Gumball 3000.
So yeah, exciting times. Um, I think the spirit's getting getting just about ready. Um, I'm absolutely soaked before I get back in with my car to head off. I try and get everything happening. The sleds are just doing their arrival shoot at the moment. Uh, has car two cars in the wet, GoPro it up, ready for some more videos from the start. since four in the morning. So 
although a horribly wet start to this year's Gumball 3000 seems to be the way with the last few years too, but now it's off into the car to come and catch up with everybody and get some videos of the drive. Hopefully we'll have a few better days ahead. Stockholm. It's been a seven hour drive or so today. We didn't actually manage to stop at any of the checkpoints and we've only just got here in time. Lots of cars behind us though, so they're pretty much holding the ferry back for everyone to get here. 
Um, see, we came in with the NASA edition from Oakley Design. Love that car, love the noise it makes. Hopefully, if you keep watching, I'll get some videos with some flames firing out the back of it. But uh, overnight cruise on the Talink Cilia Line Galaxy. Um, then tomorrow it gets us to Finland, um, Turku, then we drive to Helsinki. Um, but yeah, lots of cool cars right here coming in now. So um, it's been a pretty exciting day really, apart from the bad weather, it cleared up in the afternoon. Um, now it's just a case of being excited about everything that happens tomorrow. So um, let's go on, have a little rest, get some videos edited, and we'll take it from there.
What's up, man? How you doing? Good. How's it going? What's up? Gumbo. Gumbo. Welcome to Helsinki. Thank you. We've been welcome to Helsinki. We're in Helsinki. We sort of got a little bit lost. And, um, I think we missed the checkpoint. But here with the uh, house car two cars, pretty epic stuff. Josh knows how to drive, that's for sure. Gumballing like a gumballer. Um, so now we go to Premier Park Porvu, a little windy racetrack not too far away from here. Um, take the cars, see what, whether we can catch up with some other gumballers. And uh, after that, it's going to be Russia. So let's go to the track. Premier Park, the racing starts to be over for today and uh, car number 92, Charles, he made the fastest time of today, 55 and uh, yeah, he beat, the, beat them all, so really good job Charles.
nicer when it's not lower. Okay. How's the F12? Beautiful. Yeah? Best car I ever drove. Yeah? Best car I ever drove. I couldn't <laughs> believe it. It's unbelievable. He's so it, it just he's lights. So He's so funny, he says to me in the parking lot, he goes, I said, listen, Dad, you're gonna have to drive the Ferrari. He goes, are you sure? I said, yeah, don't worry about it. He's like, listen, how do you put it in gear? I don't know, this is like different. Why do you yeah, want to change back? Why do you I want to drove, change back? Uh, I never drove one before because you guys can, I can't drive with the speed that, uh, that you guys drive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, listen to him talking. He's like testing the car, creeping around the parking lot. I'm like, what's going on? You know? Then I hear in the tunnel, I hear the V12 wide open, 6,000 RPM <laughs> as he's blasting through the tunnel. Not even what, half an hour later. Well, because yeah. nobody was watching. Yeah, keep, talk <laughs> keep, keep, keep talking. <laughs> So today's checkpoint at Premier Park, just uh, about half an hour outside of Helsinki. Pretty good fun. Josh of uh, House Car 2 managed to break the track's lap record. 55 seconds in his F12 Berlinetta. Tried in the 458, but too much luggage and stuff. Um, but we've decided not to go into Russia. Whole load of stress with visas and insurance and things. So we're back in Helsinki to get a ferry over to Tallinn, which is the checkpoint stop for tomorrow morning. Um, so we only missed about half a day, uh, which is quite cool. Um, and gives me time to edit some more videos and get them up on YouTube. Um, just waiting now with Team Imago, who are off to get also to jumping ahead to Riga, the next night's stop to get some stuff sorted out. And uh, some other people like us for, uh, doing some filming at the rally and stuff, um, who are going to jump ahead as well, because they didn't sort out visas. So everything going quite well. We're more or less on schedule. Um, time for me to go and hopefully get some rest because I tell you, that does sound loud. You don't get much rest doing this, so I'm pretty much out of it. Combat coming through. Beetle, incinerator. All action here in Tallinn. Fairly big crowds to show you some of that. And most of the cars aren't even here yet. There's been a hold up coming back out of Russia into Estonia. It's actually quicker going into Russia than coming out of Russia. And they're making all the gunballers come in groups and they all have to have their passports. And it seems like an odd number of people actually managed to get their passports. So all the cars here getting ready to head off down to Riga. It's another four hours from here. We'll see some cars arriving and go from there.
<laughs> Whereabouts are we? I don't even know. Somewhere, probably still Estonia, between Tallinn and Riga. Filling up. At least they got 98. It's a good thing, at least we get some premium fuel. And it's very cheap. So we get to see that again. Um, so yeah, it was a decent drive. Tomorrow is quite a big one. Down to Vilnius in Lithuania and then to um, Warsaw, Poland. So two more countries I've never been to prior to now. So this is quite cool. Um, the crowd here in Riga is pretty big too. So um, good day and uh, good time on the road. So a bit more tomorrow. day here we're just cruising out of Latvia we left Riga this morning we're driving with this Corvette supercharged it's pretty noisy um, here we're just arriving I think at the border into Lithuania um, yet another new country today we're gonna to end up in Warsaw but uh, Lithuania for now we've had a pretty clean run out of Latvia I think we only saw one or two police cars so um, 
that was pretty cool. Um, we're quite far near the back of the pack, so we've got some catching up to do before the stop in Vilnius. So let's keep going on the road. Again, so we skipped out Vilnius, um, going straight on to Warsaw with the uh, GTR. I've got the B12 Vantage Roadster behind us, and um, yeah, let's be careful in the rain, and on we go. Hi. 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 Hi.
Yeah? Um, stop. How's it going? So here we are. Another crowd of crazy Polish people. We love Poland, right? I love Poland. Amazing. You guys have great roads, nice cops. Very happy to be here. Be Good fun. team? Very happy to be here. Yeah! yeah. Poland rocks! Yeah. 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 Cool. As you can see, Poland is absolutely crazy. We love it. Everyone goes mental. It's high-fiving, huge crowds. The kids go crazy for these cars. We've got all the uh, fast car seat cars up there. You can see my car. And um, people just absolutely flock around us. So it's pretty amazing. <laughs> Josh leading the charge through Poland. Good fun drive. Wow. Everybody wants stickers, things, they give us stuff. It's like celebrities, <laughs> it's really funny. But absolutely amazing. The support here, I'm not sure. I don't think anything else can beat it. It's absolutely crazy. Anyway, guess we need to get back on the road. out so I'm just gonna stop take a leak put the GoPros on for uh, hopefully a nice entrance to uh, Warsaw Last night? A little bit. A little More bit. than average, about average. More four hours. <laughs> Ready for today then? Another long slog? Yeah, I think the next two days will be like a oh, cool. tough while. Well, Going to the checkpoint? Um, yeah. Crack out? Don't know what the checkpoint It's been really good. The reception has been amazing. Sir, how are you? Very well, how are you? We are well, we're awake, we are caffeinated, we are on our way to Vienna, as they say. Vienna, Wien, Vienna. Love it. Yeah, how are you guys doing? Good, good. Yeah. Rested up, got Rested some, up. some sleep. And, uh, Did you go to the party last night? Not last night. We came in pretty late, we're towards the end of the pack. Um, yeah, but me too. We 
we can yeah. Yeah, rest it up. It's going to be a long day. It was a rough day, day yesterday, you know. Right. But uh, the, the, the roads in Lithuania were fantastic. What did you think of the Polish fans? Oh my God, the Polish fans, the first time I've been to Poland, and I knew that, uh, I didn't know I was this famous. Gumball is, is becoming like a legendary thing. And so many people turned out. I think there was 20,000 fans there last year, last night. Um, anyway, it's good to go. See you there. Cheers. He's pulled someone else. He's, he's pulled them over. Go, 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 go. He's pulled them over. Go, just leave him. Unless there needs to be an exit, not where there are police. 
That's really funny. We need to be able to get out of here. There. So he's pulled over. Yeah, them. I wouldn't hang around. <laughs> what happened to him? I have absolutely no idea. We're absolutely gunning it, the Czech Republic. Some VW is keeping up with us with four young people clearly being very entertained. And a policeman comes. Well, somebody we think might be an undercover policeman who tucks in with us in a front centre wherever we go, then ends up, blue lights go on, we think they're coming for us. And he pulls over the VW. Is it because there was a tunnel? We slowed down for the tunnel? Maybe they kept gunning it through? Are we going to get in trouble just up the road or something? I don't know. Like, It's a bit like, just what? <laughs> first, first, thing, first thing that happens is, all right, Jason, how many euros have we got? <laughs> <laughs> yes, as soon as the blue lights go on, it's how many euros do we have? <laughs> we can't offer him more than we actually got. We have, we, have, we have cash in our wallet, and that's about it. Sorry? We have cash in our wallet, and that's about it. Oh, we've got a police car behind us as well. Oh, bollocks. Oh, we're in big trouble now. Oh, we're in big trouble now. Oh, yeah. Uh, can I drive up here? So, um, this isn't Tim, and this isn't Shmi, but, uh, Tim is there. And, um, he's in a bit of trouble. Doing a bit, going a bit fast. So we're just waiting for the ticket to be written out, and um, R8 V10, it's a bit oil thirsty, so this is a perfect opportunity to fill it up, really. Um, <laughs> have many people ever filled up their car with oil while they're waiting for their um, lack of vignette tickets to be written out? Eh, it's all good. It's all good. Shall we ask him if he's got a bin for the bottle? <laughs> Was that too much? <laughs> made it to the grid in Vienna, pretty adventurous day, a lot of driving. Um, it took about 13 hours for us today and tomorrow is going to be even longer. We've got 1,200 kilometers for the very final day to Monaco via a stop in Verona perhaps. It's the Grand Prix weekend so that's pretty exciting. It's day six, it will be 3,000 miles of gumball. Um, hopefully everybody's going to make it all the way. It's been pretty epic up till now. For now, a good night's rest before the cars set off here quite early in the morning tomorrow. So, we're in Austria. Unfortunately, we have got a vignette ticket. These kind gentlemen have been filming the whole process and these guys have been writing out the ticket. So, 120 euros. We even bought a damn thing. So, uh, apparently here, if you don't even stick it to your window, you get a fine, which is ridiculously annoying. But there we go. Uh, now, we're just going to, I guess, get back in the car and keep driving through Austria. So that, that one lasted about two minutes back on the road. Um, Jason at the wheel following my ticket and... Uh... <laughs> two minutes in, we've been driving in Austria for about 40 minutes now and um, four, three, three of these, um, we love Austria, you know, they just, they just like to issue us more tickets every once in a while and we're just trying to get to Monaco. At this route, we're going to be in Monaco in about two weeks time because we get pulled over so many times. <laughs> Yeah, so um, this one was 20 euros for not showing a GB badge on the back of the car, which on any normal trip they really wouldn't care about. Good thing I have one in the car, it's on now. It looks really rubbish, but it will come off as soon as we're out across the border, so all is well. But my god, what a waste of time. Anyway, let's keep driving. Let's go!
petrol station time in Italy. We've had two and a half degrees on the car's temperature. It's been lightly snowing, um, not ideal. Uh, a couple of anguishes filling up here. Um, yeah, still 700 kilometers to go of this leg, just playing it really safe with the weather. Feels pretty good. Very tired, very long journey. Really glad to be here finally. Ready for the crowd? Uh, there's a crowd. There's a bit of a crowd down there. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs>
made it. It has been an absolutely incredible journey. 3,000 miles from Copenhagen in Denmark across to St. Petersburg, Russia, and now we're down in Monaco outside the Fairmont Hotel. 120, 125 supercars, lots and lots of stories without a doubt for this year's rally. It's been absolutely brilliant filming all of it. I hope you've enjoyed all of the coverage. I'm sure there's going to be plenty more exciting stuff to come in the future. So thank you very much for me and I'll catch up with you again soon. Cheers. in New York City for the 2012 Gumball 3000. That's a nice sound.